Have you recently used the plan mode with Cloud Code? Well, I was using Cloud Code a lot, but I did not even know that this special mode exists and actually how to use it. I kind of found it already, I saw it already, but I thought it was like, okay, if I ask Cloud Code, okay, implement this feature with these and these kind of things, there was kind of planning, like to-do lists and something like that. So I thought, okay, that's probably the plan mode. But I was wrong, it was not the plan mode. So first, very quickly, um, showing you what is actually the plan mode and how to get there. So basically, the plan mode, you just do shift and tap, and then you can just switch between the modes. So we have the edit mode and the plan mode. And like some mode, well, I'm not so sure how it works, like some general mode, let's say. So um, let's go into the plan mode and let's dive a little bit deeper in what it actually is. So in the plan mode, in plan mode, you want to use it for safe code analysis. So plan mode instructs Claude code to create a plan by analyzing the code base with read only operations, perfect for exploring code bases, planning complex changes or reading code safely. So one thing that I want to do and while we go through um, this documentation a little bit, um, we want to um, use the plan mode to analyze my project. So just for you, the project, what we are talking about is like um, basically for now a YouTube title generator and I just plan to make it a full YouTube studio suite which you can use to create titled. Um, it should basically automate everything but the video. The video is like the most important part. No, it's not the most important part when you create a video, but it's a very important part. And I try to automate everything around and I, there's an open source project. You see the link in the description below. So if you're interested, just check it out. Um, I just started. so. Yeah, if you want to join me in the project, just write me a comment or contact me via email. So that was basically it. Okay, so what we want to do now is we end this plan mode. And one more important thing, uh, which I wanted to tell you, which is pretty powerful. So you can go to um, model. And here, what I have to what I did is that in the plan mode, I want to use Opus. And if I just write in code or everything, then I will use um, Sonnet. So I think um, this is pretty powerful because if not, you run into rate limits pretty fast. I'm on the $100 max plan. Um, yeah, if you want to use Opus, you have to, unfortunately, you need this plan. Um, and only then I think you see those options. So we're going to go with that. And then I would just say, I'll um, just do it very briefly. Analyze my project. What could I improve concerning infrastructure? When done, create me, me a dot md file with the code report. So I will just let it do it this for now. And yeah, I think that's basically it. We let it run now a little bit. So this is doing his things. It's creating a to-do list. Yeah, this is what I mean. I always thought that this is kind of the planning mode. Um, okay, right now we are in the planning mode. But um, if you don't, yeah, if you're not in planning mode, you see these to-do lists too. So I thought that might be the planning mode, but it's not apparently. So let's go a little bit more. So when to use plan mode, multi-step implementation. When your feature requires making edits to many files. Well, many times the case, code exploration. When you want to research the code base thoroughly before changing anything. Yeah. And Basically, if you want to do some refactoring, it makes sense to analyze that it's analyzing the code base and based on this analysis, you can kind of do the refactoring. 